Okay, hello, good morning. So, today we will be having a tutorial about Laravel and Socialite. Uh, Socialite means um, if you want to log in to your Laravel website using some social media accounts like Facebook, GitHub, Google, and Twitter, and, and more, etc. It depends. The social media who supports the developer's mode for login as an OAuth too. So here, first of all, you need to have a fresh install Laravel. I I hope you already know this basic. And then, well, actually, it really looks like this. <coughs> okay. And then second will be you need to have you need to go to developers developers developer modes in a Facebook and then you can add a new create an application since here in my deve developers mode in my Facebook account I have two new application that I have created a while ago and then here we need to go to the folder or the directory in your Laravel and then which is my socialite passport folder name and then you just need to implement or enter composer required laravel socialite so i did it in the first place because my computer loads slow um, the internet here in philippines is very slow so i did it in the first place so that you won't be waiting any longer so okay this is the first step and then the second step is we need to copy this one and then go to our config and services so config we have here our services okay so this one we're going to change to Facebook and the other one will be log in so let me check the router first so the router is this okay so we just need to change the github to facebook so this will be the route i mean the url callback okay so that one and then here our client id we will be changing that according to our facebook developers client id and secret id so i better get rid of this comment and then here i'm going to choose this one morals so here in our settings uh, we need to copy the application id okay this one copy it here oops and then our secret key okay that's our secret key and then our callback let's copy this one to be our callback and paste this one here so i already put it that a few seconds ago so here in our i mean let's check for our alerts computer runs slow again internet still runs slow but it's okay okay so my goodness welcome to philippines a preview okay it's already in public okay that's good and then settings blah 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 so we already get read on that so let's clear this and run migration um, by the way our database name is passport so we have a schema error uh, that's okay actually uh, i don't know why why laravel don't don't fix that problem or maybe they just want you know the developers or programmers to just manually set their you know schema default string length but but whatever that's their style But the, the, but the advantage for this is you can set your own 
um, default string length into 191 we can set it into 190 142 but for me I'm just taking with you know 191 maybe they are just doing that to uh, set this default string length into what the developers desire so I'm going to run the Laravel make auth I, I don't want to waste my time here um, creating login registration with reset password from scratch so let's refresh our database so we have here let's refresh our so we have login and register here okay that's fair so for this we need to go to our browser since we are already done with our you know our services we need to go to our router mm -hmm. here and then in our make off when we run our make off it it enables the function of having a boiler boiler plate and everything is just scaffolded so we need to go to http controllers off where the login yeah where the login is in our login controller and then here we need to use our import you know um socialite for this socialite passage passage correct me if i'm wrong that's how they pronounce it and then copy these two methods well basically this two methods is as a redirect and then the other one was just a callback it redirects for a certain auth on facebook by using the services that we input our application id and secret key and then it gives you know a callback with uh let me get the ml first yeah that's the email of the facebook that we will be logging in so let's try to test the site but not yet mada mada mm -hmm. here in our laravel 4 we need to copy our route um if you want to create your own custom route then that will be better but for the sake of you know for the sake of this learning you just you, let's just copy this default one okay so for going to log in as facebook using our facebook account let me use this one let's see if there's any error oh all right so continue as morley so if this runs successful it will output our email all right it outputs my email so let's proceed for coding so b basically let me explain first before we you know jump up for this okay first of all we need to have a fresh laravel installation and then after that we run composer uh, require laravel socialite it downloads all the let's just say it downloads all the things that we need for our socialite functions and then after that we just simply um set our that env file into our designated database username etc and then after doing that we also need to go what i call this one go to the config and services uh, let's put this function as in the services and then let's set this one into facebook and then you you put your facebook id which is you can found in facebook developers mode and then here is your id and this is your application key which will be pasted here so after that we direct we redirect it in our uh, in our callback url which we output or we get what we or we we show to the user what we get to the facebook from using using the services socialite okay but here in our scenario i just simply output the email of the user which is me all right okay so let's close this one login controller and then after that we, since we already migrate our database we also enter the command make off just 
to have uh, a scaffolding of login and registration there's no need for me to write it from the scratch which I always do and um, let's we're going to continue in our part two see you